Okay guys, so that just a real quick little in, or, uh, intro here. This is the part two for the uh, the uh, Barbie doll toilet paper dress cover. Um, I want to apologize again, like I said in the intro for part one. I had just a touch of the flu filming these and I felt horrible and I, I, now I feel horrible that you guys could probably hear that in my voice and I just, I wasn't my normal chipper self and I want to apologize, but I had to push through and get this tutorial done because I was super excited to show it to you guys. So, all right, let's get your stuff together. If you need a recap of what we're doing, go watch part one again or, you know, finish it and uh, yeah, we're going to go from there or we're going to jump right into it. Okay, so we just finished, um, in part one, we finished row one and two of our dress. So we're going to move on to row three. And row three, we are going to chain one and turn. And we're going to single crochet into that very first single crochet right there. So single right into there. And now we're going to single into the next three. One. two, three. And then we're going to increase into the next. So the increase again is just, well, single crochet increase is two singles into that next single. Now single crochet into the next four. One, two, three, four, increase into the next. Single into the next four. Increase into the next. And now we should have four left. So we just single crochet into the last four. All right, so that was row three. Now we should have 22 single crochet. And right there, I don't, I got a little piece of something. So I just snapped that off. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna chain one and turn and move on to row four. In row four, we're just gonna single crochet into the very first. Of course, I mess it up. And then single crochet into each single straight across. So no increases, nothing like that. Just one single crochet straight across. Just about there. <laughs> and into the last one with a single. All right, now what we're gonna do is bring the two ends together and we are going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet. Chain one, pull up a loop. <laughs> Chop that up. All right, pull that. Okay, so now we are going to start working in rounds. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in this little end. Okay, so I got that end weaved in. Now what we're gonna do is turn our work back the way we had it, upside down and back uh, the back to facing us, and we are gonna get our second color, get a slip knot on our hook, oops. And 
into the first single crochet right here we are going to do or we are going to attach into the back loop only so not the one that's facing us the back loop only we're gonna go right in there and attach with a slip stitch and then we're gonna chain three and that is gonna count as a treble and it will throughout the whole skirt of our dress okay so that's a treble so we're gonna treble right back into there okay and now what we're gonna do is work two treble back loops only into each single all the way around all right so you guys I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys oops finish this working back loops only two treble into each single all the way around and i will meet you when we get back to the beginning okay be right back okay i'm coming back around i have one more back loop to work into Okay, so including your chain three, that beginning chain three, we should have 44 trebles around, okay? So what we're gonna do now is slip stitch to the top of that chain three. So right here's the first chain, second chain, here's the third. So I'm just gonna go right into that loop and slip stitch. All right, that was the end of row five. We're going to move on to row six and we are going to start by chaining three. One, two, three. And now we're going to work a treble right back into the top of that chain three that we just slip stitched into. See the big loop it creates right there. And now we are going to treble into the next treble. We're going to treble crochet increase into the next treble. So that's just two trebles. All right, now we're going to treble into the next. And then increase treble crochet increase into the next. And that's what we're going to repeat around. Treble into the next, increase into the next. Treble into the next, increase into the next. Repeat that all around and I will meet you back at the beginning. Okay, so I've made it back around. I've got one more to work into and that gets my one treble. And I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three. One, two, three. Slip stitch right in there. Okay. That's the end of round six. All right. So to move on to round seven, we are going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to work a treble right back into the top of that chain three that we, where we slip stitched. And now we're going to treble into the next two. So here is the first, which the top's a little wonky from slip stitching into that chain three. There's one. Treble into the next. There's two. Now into the next treble, we increase. So that's two treble. So there's one. And 
two. Okay, so we did the increase. Now we're gonna treble into the next two. One and two. Then we increase into the next. One treble into the next two. Increase into the next. And that's what we're going to repeat around, okay? And I forgot to say, this is, um, I can't talk in. All right, so this is round seven. Row six, you should have had 66 trebles, okay? So for row seven, you should have 88. So go ahead and repeat your one treble into the next two, increase. One treble into the next two, increase. Repeat that around and I will meet you when we get back or when we make it all the way around to the end, okay? We'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it back around and I just worked an increase so the last two trebles get one treble. All right, now we're gonna slip stitch to the top of our chain three. And there is our slip stitch. There's our first chain, second chain, there's the third. And now when I slip stitch into the top, whenever I say slip stitch into the third chain, what I am doing is going into two, like here's the back hump, and then here is the side, you know, uh, loop of the chain then slip stitch because if you don't it kind of leaves a little bit of a gap in there all right that was round seven and we should have 88 treble all right now we're going to move on to round eight and round eight we're going to chain one and we're going to work a single crochet into the top of that chain three so right back in where we slip stitched we're going to work a single and then single into the top of that next treble, and it's a little wonky. It's right here. Right there is the top of that treble. It's all wonky because the slip stitching into that chain, it kind of pulled it a little bit. But we're gonna single crochet right into that treble. And now we're just working one single all the way around. Okay. So go ahead and work your single crochets all the way around and we should have 88 singles. All right, I'm gonna get mine done and I will be right back. Okay, so I've made it back around. I've got one more single to work and we're gonna slip stitch to, or in a back loop slip stitch to that first single crochet and now we're going to chain three there's our treble now we're going to work a treble right back into that back loop okay give me some slack Now we're going to back loop treble into the next three. One. Two. Three. And now we're going to increase into the next. Make sure you're still in the back loops. This whole round, we're going to be working into the back loops. Okay. All right, and that's what we're going to repeat around. Treble increase. One treble into the back loop into the next three. into the back loop with a treble increase. 
All right, so just repeat that around. Back loop, one treble into the next three, into the next with a back loop treble increase. Three, increase, three, increase, three, increase. Back loops all the way around, and I will meet you when we get back to the beginning. And we should have 110 trebles. Okay, so I have repeated that around, and I just worked an increase. Now I'm gonna, uh, I about said single treble into the last three back loops, last three singles. All right. Slip stitch to that beginning chain three. And right there is the first chain, second chain, there's the top. I'm gonna go right through there and slip stitch. All right, that was the end of round, was it nine? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, yep. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to round 10. And round 10, we are going to chain three. One, two, three. And now we're gonna work a treble into each treble all the way around. So into our first one, remember the top of it's a little wonky right there. It's right here. There's our two loops at the top. All right, now we're just gonna treble all the way around. Okay, and we should still have 110 trebles, okay? So go ahead and um, treble crochet, treble crochet all around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of round 10. I have one more, thank you. I have one more to treble into. And now we slip stitch to the top of that chain three into the third chain, chain three, and then round 11, we repeat that again. Just work a treble into each treble. So right into the top of that second one. All right, now just treble around. All right, I'm gonna get this done and I will See you when I get to the end. Okay, so I've made it back around. I have one more treble to work my treble into. And slip stitch to that top of the chain three. All right, now we're gonna repeat that single crochet round. So we're just gonna chain one. Single crochet back into that chain single into the next treble and then just single crochet excuse me single crochet all the way around all right so this is round uh 12. okay so i'm gonna get my round 12 done and i'll be right back okay so i've made it back around i have one more to single crochet into and now we back loop slip stitch to the first single crochet chain three and now we back loop treble all the way around All right, so I'm gonna let you finish this round. This is round 13. Mark it off. All right, so round 13, back loop treble all the way around. All right, work that all around and I'll meet you when we come to the end. Okay, I'm coming back around. I have one more single crochet to work a back loop treble into. All 
right, now I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three. One, two, three. All right, now we're going to move on to row round 14. And round 14, we are just going to start with a chain three. One, two, three. And then treble into the top of the next treble. And treble into the next treble. And that's all we're going to do all the way around. One treble into each treble all the way around. All right, so get that done and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of round uh, 14. I have one more treble to work. And we slip stitch to the top of that chain three. One, two, three. Okay, so last round, chain one, and we're gonna double crochet right into the top of that chain three. And now double crochet into the top of that treble and double crochet into each treble all the way around. Oops, don't yarn over twice, just once. All right. So double crochet all the way around and I will, come on, I will meet you when we get to the beginning. Okay, so I'm coming back around. One more treble to work my double into. Slip stitch to the first. Chain one, pull up a loop, and we are done. Cut. All right, I am going to get this end and this end weave it in, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all my ends weaved in. Everything's nice and pretty. And now what we're going to do is start the uh, ruffle layer layers. So we are going to first start into these remaining loops for when we attached the uh, second color. We remember we did that in the back loops. So these remaining loops are where we gonna, we're gonna start the ruffles. So you can tell we're gonna have one layer of ruffles, there's the second layer, there's the third layer. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and get started. So get to get into the, to start with the first ruffle, we're gonna go back to our original color, so the same color as the bodice of your dress. Get a slip knot on your hook. I am just <laughs> dang cat. I'm just gonna go straight into one of those remaining loops with a slip stitch, chain one. I'm gonna tighten down that tail. And I'm gonna go right back in there with a single crochet. Okay, now I'm gonna chain five. One two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna skip the next and single crochet into the next. Chain five. Skip the next, single crochet into that next. Dang. Okay, so chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the next, single into the next. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys repeat that around. Chain five, skip, single into the next. Chain five, skip, single into the next. Go ahead and repeat that around and I will we'll meet you when we get back, when I get to the end, okay? All right, so I'm coming up to the end. I have one, two, three, right? That's actually a slip stitch. So I have three left. So I've singled, chain five, skip the next, 
single crochet into the next chain five four five and I'm going to come straight into that first chain and slip stitch so we should have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven perfect okay so that was round one so to move on to round two we're going to chain one and single crochet right back into that chain that we slip stitched into okay so now we're going to chain five one two three four five and this is round two and uh you're going to need a stitch marker and i don't have one okay so go ahead and mark that chain that we just made. Okay, now we're gonna single crochet into the next chain. Chain five, three, four, five. Single crochet to the next chain. Chain five, five. Single crochet to the next chain. Chain five, single crochet to the next chain so go ahead and repeat that around and i'll meet you when i get to the end okay i've repeated that around right there is my last chain so i'm going to single crochet into that chain five three four five and then i'm going to slip stitch to the first chain so that was round two and we still should have eleven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. All right, I need to mark off my rows. We did that one. We did row two. Round, sorry. All right, so for round two, we're going to follow the same concept, the same thing we just did, but we're going to do chain six instead of five. So to start round three, we chain one, single crochet right back into that first chain and then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to stop, mark that first chain and single crochet into the next chain. Chain six, three, four, five, six, seven. single crochet to the next chain. So I think you guys got a pretty good concept of what we're doing now. So I'm going to go ahead and let you work that around and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I repeated that around. So I chain six, single, <laughs> I said that word, single crochet to the next chain. So I'm going to chain six, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to slip stitch to my first chain. All right, now what we're going to do now is repeat round three again. So we're going to chain one, single crochet back into the same one we slip stitched into, and chain six. Three, four, five, six. Mark that. And then single crochet into the next chain. Chain six. Three, four, five, six. Single into the next chain. All right, guys, so repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I made it back around, and I singled into my last chain, chain six, and slip stitch to the first chain of the round, chain one, single crochet right back in there. All right, so now we're going to move on to round five. In round five, we're going to do the exact same thing we did, but we're going to chain seven now. So we already worked our single crochet, so we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mark that chain. And single crochet into the next chain. Chain seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into the next chain. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, single. All right, so repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I made that back around. Single crocheted into my last chain, chain seven, and slip stitch to our first. Go ahead and chain one. All right, now we're gonna move on to round six. In round six, we're gonna follow the same thing we've been doing, but we're gonna chain eight now. So we singled, we are going, or I'm sorry, we chained. We're gonna single crochet into that first chain. Chain eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Slip stitch, or slip stitch. <laughs> <laughs> mark that with a stitch marker <laughs> sorry and then slip stitch to our next god we are going to single crochet to our next chain i can't get my stitches right today chain eight four five six seven eight single crochet into your next chain all right guys repeat that around and i will meet you when we get to the end Okay, I've made it back around. So there's my chain eight. So I'm gonna single or slip stitch to my first chain, chain one, and we're gonna move on to round seven. Is that right, seven? Ooh, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Okay, so round seven, we're just gonna repeat round six. So we uh, slip stitch to our first, single crochet, Oh, slip stitch to our first chain one single crochet back into the same chain you just slip stitched to and chain eight three four five six 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 seven eight all right mark that single crochet into your next chain chain eight All right, repeat that around, okay? I'll meet you when we get to the end. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of round seven. I single crocheted, chain eight. Now I'm gonna slip stitch to my first chain and chain one, and we are gonna be done with this color. So fasten that off. All right, now we'll weave in that in later. Okay, so we are going to work a ruffle or a little uh, little round of our second color. So get a slip knot on your hook. And if you noticed, as you were working these rounds of the lace, your last chain uh, rotates around so actually if you look we just ended right here and now we're almost to the front of the dress so make sure your dress is turned over and you're to the back and in any of those last chains on the back of your dress we're gonna attach with a slip stitch <clears throat> chain one single crochet right back in there okay now we're gonna chain four one, two, three, four. Single crochet back into the same chain. And then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And that gets us to the next chain. Single crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet back into there, into that chain. Now we're going to chain five to get us to the next chain. One, two, three, four, five. Into the next chain, single. Chain four, single. Chain five to get us to the next chain. In the next chain, single. Chain four. One, two, three, four single chain five to get us to the next chain into the next chain single chain four 
single. Chain five to get us to the next chain. And then just, you know, continue working around like that's not even there. Single, chain four, single. Chain five to get you to the next chain. So repeat that around and I will meet you when we get back to the beginning, okay? Okay, so I've repeated that around and I've into that last chain, I've worked my uh, chain five, single, chain four, single. So now I'm gonna chain five, five, and I'm going to slip stitch to that very first single crochet. So, excuse me. So get this situated. Right there is the slip stitch. There's the chain one. Right there's the top of that single crochet. I'm gonna go right in there. Why are you not focusing on me? With a slip stitch. Chain one, pull up a loop, and fasten off. And that is our first layer. So now we only have two more to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and get these ends weaved in, because if I don't, they're gonna drive me nuts. So I will be right back. Okay, so that is the end of our first ruffle, and now we're gonna come to our second ruffle. So make sure the back of the dress is facing you. And you can see the ridge from working into the back loops. This is where we're going to attach and start our second ruffle. So I'm going to go back to my main color, get a slip knot on my hook. Now anywhere into these back loops, or I mean remaining loops, I'm just going to attach with a slip stitch. Chain one, and pull that tail and tighten that down. And I'm gonna single crochet right back in there. Sorry about that, guys. I had to edit that part out. Um, a little mirror, I had the suction cups to a window. It fell and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> and it was really loud. All right, so to start our second ruffle, we are going to chain three. One, two, excuse me, three skip two loops so two we're going to skip two remaining loops and then single crochet into the next chain three now here's just going to get a little wonky but we have one right here and then right there is a little bitty one that's the two we're going to skip, and then we're going to go right into that next one. Chain three, skip two, single into the next. Chain three, skip two, single into the next. And you guys go ahead and repeat that around, okay? And I'm going to meet you when we get back to the, when we make it all the way around, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I've repeated that around, and this is my 30th chain three. And we have one, two, three back loops just uh, left, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip all those and slip stitch to that first single crochet. So right in there, slip stitch in there. And then slip stitch into that next chain. So now we have 30 chain threes all the way around okay so that was row round one and we're going to go on to round two and round two we are going to work a chain one single crochet back into that chain three and now we're going to uh, chain five one two three four five single crochet to the next chain Oh, we're going to mark that first one so we don't get lost. All right, now we're just going to repeat that around. Chain five, single into the next. Chain five, single crochet into the next. Repeat that all around, and I'll meet you when we get back to the beginning. 
Okay, so I've repeated that all around, single crocheted into my last chain, chain five, and now we slip stitch to the first chain five, oops. Chain one. All right, now we're gonna go on to round three. In round three, we are going to work uh, uh, chain one, single crochet back into the, sing the chain that we slip stitch to, and now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Single crochet to the next chain. Mark that first chain. All right, now repeat that around. Chain six. Single crochet to the next chain. Okay, repeat that around and I'll meet you when we get to that last chain. Okay, so I've made it back around. I worked my last chain, chain six. I forgot how many I did. <laughs> now we're gonna slip stitch to our first chain, chain one, and that is the end of round three. Now we're gonna move on to round four. We're gonna single crochet right back into that chain. And round four, we're gonna repeat what we just did. Single crochet back into back into the chain we just slip stitched to, chain six. Five, six. Mark that first chain. Single crochet into the next chain. Chain six. Single crochet into the next chain. Repeat that around and I'll meet you when we get back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it around. Worked my last chain six, slip stitch to my first chain and chain one. Now we're gonna move on to round five. Round five, we're gonna repeat the same thing we just did, but we're gonna chain seven instead now. So we chain one, I'm gonna single crochet right back into the same chain we slip stitch to, chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six. Seven. Mark that with a stitch marker. Single to the next. Chain seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet to the next. All right, you got it. Repeat around and I'll meet you at the last. Okay, so I repeated that around and there's my last, uh, Two, four, six, seven. <laughs> I don't know why I just all of a sudden can't remember. All right, so now we're gonna slip stitch to the first chain one, and we're gonna move on to round six, and we're just gonna repeat the exact same thing we just did. Single crochet back into that chain, chain seven. Mark that. Single crochet into the next. And repeat that all around again. And I will meet you guys when I get to the end. Okay, so I've repeated that around. There's my last chain seven. I'm gonna slip stitch to the first, the one we have marked. Chain one, pull up a loop and fasten it off because we are done with this. And now we're gonna start the little, little layer around. I have no idea what I was talking about. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> We're gonna start the last round with the other, with our second color. So get a slip knot on your hook. And I'm just gonna go right into where we left off because it's at the back of the dress. So I'm just gonna start right there. I'm gonna go in with a slip stitch, chain one, and tighten that down, single, chain four, single crochet back in there, chain five, to get us to the next chain. Take that off. And we are going to single, chain four, single, chain five to get us to the next chain. 
one, two, three, four, five. Single, chain four, single, chain five to get us to the next chain. So we're just repeating the same thing we did right here. Okay, so you guys can repeat that around and I will meet you when we get back to the beginning. Okay, so I have repeated that around and into that last chain, I did the single, chain four, single. Now I'm gonna chain five. On camera, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and now I'm gonna slip stitch to that first single crochet. Get in there. Chain one, pull up a loop and cut because we are done with the second ruffle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here, get these ends weaved in, and we're gonna work our last ruffle. And then we'll do our hat and we're gonna be done. All right, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I got my ends weaved in from that second ruffle. Now we're gonna start the third into the back loops from right there. So get your main color back, get a slip knot on your hook, and with the back of the dress facing up, we're gonna attach into any of these loops, doesn't matter which, with a slip stitch, chain one, Pull that tight and we're going to single crochet back in there. All right, now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Skip two, single crochet into the next. Chain three. Skip two, single crochet into the next. Chain three. Skip two, single crochet into the next. All right, so you guys repeat that around and I'm gonna meet you when we get uh, to the end. Um, you guys, I hope you guys, when you start, just start to the left of your seam right here and then whenever we make it around, I'll come back and show you how we're just gonna skip that, okay? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it back around and I single crocheted, chain three, skip two, single crochet into the next, chain three, and now we are going to skip. And if you look, you can see here is the next one right there. And then right here is the next one. So this little bar and this little bar are the two we're gonna skip and go right into this one. Okay. So I'm gonna go straight across, right into there, and work a single. Now I'm gonna chain three, and I'm gonna slip stitch right into that first chain three. And that's the end of round one, and we should have um, 37 chain threes. I dropped my pencil. Okay, we should have 37 chain threes. All right, now we're gonna move on to round two. Round two, we're gonna chain one, single crochet back into that same chain three, and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into the next chain. Chain five. Single crochet into the next chain. Repeat that around. Oh, don't forget to mark that first. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the beginning. Okay, so I've repeated that around. I single crocheted into that last chain, chain five, and now I'm going to slip stitch to the first chain and chain one. All right, now we're gonna single crochet back into that same chain. Oop, I don't know why I was gonna mark that. And now we're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is round three, I should have said. Sorry about that. Okay, single crochet into the next, chain six, single, cr or single crochet into the next, chain six, 
Okay. Repeat that around and I will meet you at the beginning. Okay, so I've made it back around. I single crocheted into that last chain six, chain six, and slip stitch to our first chain. That's the end of round three. So round four, we are going to chain one and single crochet back into there and chain six. Six. So we're just basically repeating what we just did with round three. Okay, single, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single into the next. Repeat that around and I will meet you when we get to the last chain. Okay, so I made it back around, single crocheted into that last chain six, chain six, slip stitch to our first, chain one, pull up a loop, and we're done with our main color. Let me take this off. Now we're gonna work the round with our second color. So go ahead and get that. Get a slip knot on your hook. All right, make sure the back of the dress is facing me and I'm just gonna attach right in there, wherever I can go. With a slip stitch, chain one, pull on that slip knot, tighten that up, and single crochet right back in there. Now we're going to chain four, single crochet back in there, chain five, to get us to the next chain. And we work a single, chain four, single, chain five to get us to the next chain. Two, four, five. Skip right over that, single, chain four, single, chain five to get us to the next. And we start the single, chain four, single, all over again. So we're doing the same thing that we did on all the other ruffles. All right, repeat that around and I'll meet you when we get back to the beginning. Okay, I worked that around and in my last chain, I have a single, chain four, single. So I'm gonna chain five and I'm gonna slip stitch to that first single crochet. Right there's the top of it. Slip stitch into there. Chain one, pull up a loop, and fasten off. So we are done with our dress. I'm so excited. All right, so get your ends weaved in, and then I'm gonna get mine on my doll and show you guys, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my dress on my Barbie, and I am super happy with how it turned out. Yeah, that is pretty. Okay, so we have a few little things that we're going to work on to finish up the dress, and then we'll move on to the hat. So first, we are going to close up the back and turn her head so her hair is out of the way. And the way I'm going to do that is just I'm going to take a long strand of my second color. Oh, I'd say a good, good two feet. And I'm going to get a needle. I'm going to weave this on or thread this on my needle. And I'm going to do this like a shoelace. So I'm going to come from one side and come out the other. And then I'm going to center it on my Barbie. So I'm going to take my tails and pull it to where they're the same length. And then I'm just gonna cross it like that. And then thread this side on my needle. And I'm gonna bring it through this side. And now this side, I'm gonna thread on my needle And 
and I keep hitting the camera with my head, I'm sorry. <laughs> and bring it through the side. Okay, now I'm gonna cross them again. So this side, I'm gonna run through this side. And this one, I'm gonna thread through on my needle. And I'm gonna bring it through this side. And now cross them again. And since I got this one on the needle already, I'm gonna bring it right through there. Thread my other one. Run it through this side. Cross them again. And bring this one on this side. And bring this one through this side. Alright, so I'm just going to finish this all the way up to the top. And I'll be right back. Okay, I repeated that all the way up the red portion. I didn't go into the purple portion. And now all I'm going to do is just I'm going to tie this in a little bow. So I can untie it and take the dress off of her without having to cut this. There. Turn her back around. And I want to break it up right here a little bit. So I'm going to pull out another, oh, good two feet. I'm going to get my two ends together. I'm going to take it around, bring it back around, take it back around. I'm just going to tie it in a bow. Something to just to help break up the color in the middle. You guys can get a little more intricate with it if you want to. Okay. Now I'm going to call the dress done. All right. I am actually going to stop here and we are going to go to part three for the hat and then we'll be done. So once again, guys, as always, I thank you so very much for watching. You guys are all the greatest. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think. Check out the description box, got all kinds of links down there for you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.